Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss uh, integration by method of substitution. Some questions based on it. Okay, so let's start with the question first. We need to integrate sin cube x whole square x dx. Okay. So in this question, can I put can I write this sin square x and cos square x as into cos square x into sin x. So I didn't do anything, just I split the cubic term in square and singular term. So can I write now sin square x as 1 minus cos square x into cos square x sin x dx. So if I put cos x as t, the differentiation of cos x is minus sin x dx equal dt. So I will replace the sin x dx with minus dt and it is 1 minus t square into t square with the minus sign minus dt minus 1 dt. So now my function become my question become very easier minus I will take outside this is t square minus t4 dt. So to integrate t square I will get t cube by 3 now plus minus minus plus t5 by 5 plus c now i will put the value of what i have assumed t so this will become t5 by 5 that is cos to power 5x by 5 minus cos cube x by 3 plus c so this is the question students and i hope that you are pretty clear about how to do the substitution that so that the question become very easier for you to integrate okay now let's see one more question on this so student the second question is a typical one in which we are given sin x by sin x plus a so now uh, in this question our trigonometric formulas will be used okay so first i what i will do is i will put x plus a equal t so from here I will get uh, 1 dx is equals to dt means dx equal to dt so now can I put this is t minus a x will become t minus a upon sine t dt so the question uh, now in the numerator part I can apply the formula sine of a minus b which is sine a cos b minus cos a sin b cos a sin b ok upon sin t dt so if I divide what I will get is cos a dt minus cot t sin a is a constant dt ok so cos a is also a constant so I will get cos a into t minus sin a and the integration of cot t is log of sin t. Uh, you can do the integration of cot t by using cos t upon sin t dt and take uh, sin t as u so what you will get is cos t dt is du so now the question becomes du by u which is log u so log of u is sin t okay so i hope students now you are pretty clear how to find the different integration of so this is c1 or you can say there is one more integral so now i will put the value of t again back so this is cos a x plus a minus sin a 
log of sine x plus a plus c1 so this is our answer students x cos a plus a cos a minus sin a log of sin x plus a plus c1 sin a or minus c1 sin a which is again a constant so i will put a c here okay so i hope students now you are pretty clear about how to do the questions based on integration by substitution method if you are feeling uh, any doubt or having any doubt then please do comment in the comment section students and in the next lecture we will discuss integration using trigonometric identities so stay tuned for that lecture thank you students happy learning